Hi, this is Mr. G and I'm here to tell you a little bit about this tool, EasyBib. This is a citation creator, a lot like Son of Citation, but it's in some ways it's a lot stronger. I've already logged in and made an account, which you could do too, and I'd recommend that you do that because it strengthens the use of these pieces that you can that I'm going to show you. I'm going to do something called uh, I'm going to create a new project. So I'm going to click on all projects and then I'm going to create a new project. And once I, when I do that, um, it's going to allow me to um, choose whether I want, uh, oh, I'm going to name this project 1920s Research and Prohibition because that's what I've been studying. And I've got two or three websites and at least one book that I want to try to cite my sources with. So now that I've created that project, I can click down on Bibliography. And using bibliography, I can start to cre create the citations for the sources that I have. I have two really good websites. This one is from the Library of Congress. It's got a rather lengthy URL that I'm going to use. So if I highlight that and then copy that, I can go back to my EasyBib tab. And I have website collected, selected so I can paste the website URL into the auto site box, hit cite this, it's going to take a few seconds and then it's going to create a citation or pull me to a page where I can look for additional information from that website. There's a couple things that it's suggesting that I look for. One is, is are there any other contributors besides the author in this site? And I can click on that tab, look for any contributors here. And I've looked at this site pretty carefully before and there are no other contributors. So I go back to the citation piece. The sponsor um, the, the title for the website probably isn't 301 permanently moved, but it's rather progressive era, a case study. And I'm going to copy that and put that in into my easy bib piece. Whoop. Sorry about that. Okay, I've got that pasted in there. It also asks for a sponsor. That would be the author of the website. And in this case, I'm not really sure whether there's an actual sponsor on here rather than the Library of Congress. So I may leave that alone for now. Uh, and then the date accessed, it was today on the 6th of March. And it doesn't have a published date on it as well. So I'm going to look for that too. There's no date that it was published originally. So we don't have that piece. So it looks like I'm about ready to, to cite this source. So I can create citation. I'm going to do the same process for two more uh, pieces of information. One is from the History Channel. You can see the citation that it created there. I've got the History Channel open in the tab up here. I've already got these sources that I wanted to do. Um, and now, so I'm going to copy this as Al Capone and his notorious pranks as a bootlegger uh, and in light of prohibition. I'm going to paste that website in here and then also use this to, to as one of my sources. Now I'm going to collect about three total sources for this because that's what it was required for this project. I also have the opportunity on this one to double check to make sure I have all the information in here for this site. Um, and I, in checking before, when I, before I started the broadcast, I, I do know that I have this information. I scroll down to create citation. It's going to create a second citation for the Al Capone piece. Uh, finally, I have one book that I'm going to be using for this. The book is titled um, The 1920s by Erica Hansen. It's a cultural history of the United States. Inside the title cover, there's an ISBN number, and that's a, like a, a multi digit number that you can find inside the title page. If I type that in there, I'm going to find the precise document that I'm looking for. It is this Erica Hansen book that came up very first, so I'm going to select that piece. And once I select that, I'm going to be able to go on and make some changes if I need to, but everything is here that I need, so I'm going to go ahead and create citation. So now that I have my three sites citations created, notice the format. The second line is indented. Um, they're alphabetized by uh, author's last name or the very beginning of each line, which is what I need to do. I'm going to export that to my Google Docs account, so I'm going to save this as a Google Doc, and I'm going to go back here to click on Save as Google Doc. What it will do, it will go find my Google Docs account and then 
once it shows up, it's going to ask me if I want to grant access to that, which I do. So I'm going to go ahead and click on grant access. It's going to go ahead and connect to my Google Docs account. And then all I really need to do is go to my Google Docs account on the next page, and it will uh, create that works cited page as a Google Doc. So what it'll do is it'll open it up in Google Docs, and it automatically creates the works cited page for me in the correct format that is needed for the MLA citation for our building. So that's how you create a citation in using EasyBib. So your task, if you want to be qualified for the latte, is you're going to register for a, an EasyBib account. You're going to go ahead and pretend like you're researching a unit. You can use three sources. They can be three online sources if you'd like. And then export that to a Google Docs account and print that off and bring that to your friend the librarian for one credit. Thank you very much for your time. If you have any questions, please contact myself or Ms. Hogan.